What's going on everyone? Today we are going to check out a recently released jailbreak tweak that allows you to intelligently sort the apps on your iPhone. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. Today we're going to take a look at AppSort. This is a free tweak available in the Big Boss repo. Using an activator gesture, you can sort your apps right on your home screen. Once you have AppSort and Activator installed, all you have to do is perform that gesture, like triple clicking the home button. In this case, I'm going to choose usage and it will now sort by the ones I use most, like the settings app, to the ones I use least, like wallet. Now speaking of settings, if we look at the settings for AppSort, we can choose the activation method. All these are pulled in from Activator and we have many different options including stuff for the sleep button, power button, home button, and many, many more. For this walkthrough, I've chosen to use a triple tap on my home button. With that gesture, it makes it very easy to switch your sort order. So if you don't want to sort by most used, you can then easily switch by using your gesture and then switching to alphabetical to find something easier. You have many options by default, but if you're looking to really get in there and customize it, going into the settings, there's a handy help document that'll walk you through the process. All the sorting is being done via Lua scripts and the guide will walk you through creating and installing your own sorting methods. And as far as the defaults go, it starts off with alphabetical, which sorts by the first letter of the app, badges, which goes by how many notifications are on the badge, color brightness, the brightness of the icon, hue, the color of the icon, completely random order, reds, or how much you use them. So let me know guys down in the comments what you guys think of AppSort. This is a free utility available in the Big Boss repo on Cydia. Otherwise, please subscribe so you guys can get more videos in the future. And this has been Andrew for iDownloadBlog.